Reacting to the class of 2024, it is currently September 1st. Today is the day the class of 2024 can talk to Division I college coaches. I've done this in the past, the class of 22 and 23. Check those videos out if you haven't. If you don't know me, I'm currently a senior at Ohio State on the men's lacrosse team. Shout out to Ty Zanders at Inside Lacrosse for the top 2024s in the nation. Let's get it going with number one, Ryan Dunkel. An attackman out of St. John's. Had a stellar sophomore season with 51 goals and 29 Assists, leading the second team in the nation in points as a sophomore. Ryan plays travel across for next level, and he actually did not play this past summer. Ryan got hip surgery and could not play. In Ty Zander's write up, Ryan actually has big ties to UVA. His dad, Doug, played there back in the day for football. His brother, Justin, is currently on the football team at UVA. And Ryan is actually a highly recruited prospect uh, for football himself. Could potentially be playing two sports in college. Hop in the highlights. Let's go. 4.0 GPA. Wait a minute. Oh, come on, don't do it to him. Wow, I love that. The quick split, off the bat, speedy, quick player. I mean, you saw the catch right, split left, yanking it top right. Obviously, an ex attackman, a guy that's gonna do a lot of creating, a lot of dodging. Oh! Oh my god. Oh. Let's not forget, this is not gonna go unnoticed. A Riverside Rams beating Gonzaga last year. Sorry, fellas, Rams have risen. And the bouncer, that's a recognition right there, playing on a grass field, bouncing, you know why? The goalie does not know where the ball's going off the grass. Diving for end lines, I love that. Two minutes into this highlight tape, I can tell you right now, not a flashy player. It's similar to McKay Millen, a, a creator at X, dodging. Like a lot of the number one players in the nation, out of that X attack, I mean, that gets the offense going. That's gotta be Braille's footage right here. Oh, Jesus. Hey, I love that. Get off the ground, soak it, loud tops. That's gonna wrap it up for my man. Dunks! Ryan Dunkel, this is a serious question. How tall are you? Please comment below on to number two. We got Matt Jeffrey, midfielder out of Cheshire High School in Connecticut. Also, a quarterback and point guard for Cheshire High. I mean, this guy is wheeling and dealing. Athletic dude. Travel team Eclipse posted 115 points as a sophomore. If you wanna be a top recruit in the country as an offensive player, you gotta put points on the board. As you scroll to his Instagram, Matt. Jeffrey, him, hard. This has got to be Braille's foot. It's the swim move. Oh, are you nuts? Are you not? For all my young laxers out there, if you're rocking the elbow pads as bicep pads like defenders, you're going to be sick at lacrosse. Oh. He, he, he's he, 34 seconds in, and this guy is sweeping, and he has a shot on lock. Ooh, look at the hitch. Once again, folks, if you want to be a great lacrosse player, you got to have both hands on lock. We've just seen it. That's what coaches want to see. Ooh. Look, I love that. This is a little teaching clip by Mitchell Pelkey. Here we go, folks. As he goes, protects his stick really well, dips the head, the goalie drops in cage, shoots the ball high, right in the back of the net. Oh, both hands on lock. Look at that, bang, take the hit, you don't feel it because you just stung a corner, Richard. Whoa. Yeah, that was deep. I mean, I'm looking at this guy's frame. No offense to my man, Matty Ice, but he's not a thick dude. He looks like about six feet, 170, 160. He just stung it from like 12 out. Number two in the country, folks. Oh, the stutter. <laughs> the lefty, there it is. We're going on to number three, Ben McCarthy, Fogo. Wait a minute. I got to call on somebody special for a little Fogo action. Clap it up for him, the one and only. James Ogenby. Let's go, baby. The Ohio State Fogo. Ben's a Fogo at the Haverford School in Pennsylvania. Started as a sophomore. Won more than 70% of his face-offs. That's really good. Plays travel ball for freedom. Actually met Ben at Main Stage. Yeah, that's where he won the Fogo MVP. Wait a minute. That's my video, I think. Throwing up all the accolades. I like that. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey he's got the pelk in the bottom right. 
Hey, I will say, I, I love these highlight videos when they do like the slow mo, like yeah. on the cross stuff. Yeah. Like when they, you're, like, you're like dapping your boy up. I know, and, like, it's hard. Like, it's hard. Like, we never had any of that. I feel like when we were on the repeat. Yeah. Uh, do you want to pull got... up James Hogan's highlight tape again? It's just sad. Yeah, this you got the dubstep going hard. Oh, up, up and over. Scorpion. Up and over. Get up with the scorpion. The right scorpion banging your boys. Bang it all. Oh, wait a minute. Song change. 4.1 GPA, fellas. That's pretty good. I mean. No, are you taking like Steve Zoop level classes? Yeah, yeah. You're taking like Garrett Nielsen level classes. Yeah, yeah. What do we do? Look at that, you gotta be gritty with the ground balls. Look at that. Bang, bang. Oh, there up and out, right. up and out. Down the field, let's see. Uh oh, I'm, I'm feeling it at goal. Look at that. Walking the dog bouncer. Low. I love that. It's the main, main stage, stage where Pelkey was at. Wow, wow. that was deep. Top was shelf. Deep. Wait, we're run that back. In top left. That's a good shot. Wow. Wow. All right, rotating there. In and out. Two handed ground ball. That's key. Look at the on that. Hey, you pick up a ground ball with one hand, you'll be sent on a lap yeah, here and bunk out of cross. So yeah. Just two hands on it. Two the hands. Look at that. He's bringing it. Walking the dog all the way. Ball tries to go over the head. Oh. See, okay, let me give you a little tip, Ben. I know you're out there watching. You got lucky there. Don't ever fake high, shoot high, because you will get stuffed. Just hey. like Pokey does on a <laughs> daily basis at practice here. That is false. <laughs> Look at that body. Look at the hey, body. Hey, Weight room. Using the body count. Weight room. There. A lot of these guys, when they do these highlight videos, they just post themselves like smoking everyone out the front. But that's honestly not the reality, especially when you get to college. I've seen a lot of really good scrappiness out of them. And same with the offensive person. You always don't want to show in highlight tapes the top corners, the breaking the ankles. But the coaches, they want to see the grittiness. Like my guy Benny, he's diving for ground balls. He's checking guys, fixing the helmet. He's getting gritty in the trenches. That's what college coaches like to see. Hey, he gets on field there. Two guys. I don't know what that defense Ooh, yeah, is there. What, that was a he threw his butt out like that. Kick. This is just sad. <laughs> and then he oh, falls on top of it. That's how you don't get recruited. Yeah, that, if you do that, you will not get recruited. Look at Pelkey in a sitting top show. Look at him sideline. Sideline access to Pelkey. God damn, get it up for the Pelkinator. Oh, that guy looks God. Italian, Italian. Benny McCarthy, the fellow Italian, what do you got on I think he showed a lot of versatility. He's been able to win forward, backwards, gritty, counter, ground balls, and also he's put the ball in the back of the net a lot of times. And guess Can't what? That's I'll see what why matters. he's a five-star top 10 recruit. Frog Fest part two coming out soon. <laughs> Stay tuned in that. Let's go, baby. Owner number four in the class of 2024, my guy Kyle Cosley, attackman out of Ridgefield, Connecticut, and STX athlete, baby. Let's go. Put up. 56 goals and 39 assists as a sophomore. Once again, folks, I'm gonna keep saying it. If you wanna be a great lacrosse player and a top recruit, you gotta put the ball in the back of the net. His dad, Roy Cosley, the name probably rings a bell. He was a legend at Syracuse. Played 12 seasons in pro lacrosse. Kyle's brother, Ryan, is actually a freshman down at UVA on the lacrosse team there. The lefty, I like it. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Lefty low to high, top right from 14 yards out. Fourth in the country. Oh my God. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's got like a, okay, that is low COD folks. I mean, that is Michael Sowers low. Orange pre-wrap on his leg and I think stripes of white. Not a fan, but let me tell you something. If you're scoring 95 goals a season, rocking that, continue to rock it. Bing bang, how you done? Oh. I mean, a shifty, quick attackman. A guy that could potentially, you know, play at X or run out of the midfield and get some inverting. If gets the shorty, the slide, going to need to come fast. COD, behind the back, top shelf. We're gonna end it there on my guy, KC, dude. STX athlete, and we're gonna end it off with number five ranked recruit in the class of 2024, my guy Spencer Ford. Another son of a lacrosse legend, his dad's name is Spencer Ford. I met him a couple years back, a tremendous guy, super nice guy. He played back in the day at Towson, grew up with my dad a little bit, played pro lacrosse for eight years. Attackman out of Boys Latin in Maryland, a great lacrosse school that's created so many lacrosse greats, such as Charles Toomey, the Loyola head coach, Pat Spencer, the Torton winner at Loyola, and Logan Wisnowskis, who just recently won the Torton Award, and Hall of Famer, Duncan Barnes, baby. Who would you rather have date your daughter, Lamar or Joe Flacco? Joe Flacco. Why is that? Because I'm wacko for Flacco. <laughs> Heard from a reliable source, Dom Petromala, that Spencer Ford is a huge girlfriend guy, folks. Hate to do it, Spence, but roll the clip. It's just sad. I mean, that TikTok is bad. I know the situation you're in where you gotta like do it with your girlfriend, but man, you just it's one of those things you just hope really never gets out. I mean, I can't even stop thinking about that TikTok. I mean, what? Let's get into the highlights. Ooh. 
Can't, 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 can't celebrate too much scoring on my guy, Big Tasty, but. Behind the back, bang, bang, how you doing? Bing, bang, how you doing? From the fellow Italian. Yup, bing, bang, how you doing? How you doing? Another VTV. How many times can I say it? How many more are coming? I might break my vocal cords. How are you doing? Oh my god! I was not expecting that. Woo! Hey, I'm about a minute, 19 seconds in. This guy can sling the ball. Probably doesn't have the quickest feet, uh, but he's gonna beat his defender in different ways. He gets his hands free for a split second. The ball's in the back of the net, and you're giving me a how you done? How you done? Oh, no way the ice pick. Come on. I love that. It's, it's just like, settles the check, puts the other hand on the stick, dunks it. How you doing? Going away from the kick. We're going to cut there. Spence Ford. How you doing? That's going to wrap it up here on Mitch Buck YouTube. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Like this video. Let's try to break a thousand likes. It really helps out the video's progress and get seen by more people if you like it. So please hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys next Tuesday at 5 p.m.